Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at probably one of the best filaments out there. In my 3D printing business, I deal with all sorts of filaments, from the everlasting PLA, to my best friend ASA, to the squishy and mighty TPU. Every material serves a purpose, but when working with customers with high expectations, I always struggle to find the filament that will stand out from the pack. This desire to find a unique filament took me on late night binges in the 3D printing realm, looking at material properties, manufacturer websites, and reading a ton of filament data sheets, until I stumbled upon Prozament Polycarbonate Carbon Fiber Filament. In the past, I used polycarbonate but wasn't particularly impressed and had consistent issues with warping on big prints even on enclosure printers, and the aesthetics of the printed part weren't fabricasting. Despite my first skepticism, I started my usual digging in technical data sheets and song comparisons. And on paper, this material promised wonders, so I decided to try a spool for my personal projects and compare it to parts I already printed in ASA, my go-to filament for functional parts to better understand if they met my expectations and stood up to the specs. These two pieces, one in ASA and one in TCCF, were printed on the same machine. What are the benefits of using such filament? Well, let's start with the polymer matrix. Polycarbonate is a well-known material in the non-3D printing world, and in our world it stands out for having a higher transitional temperature than ABS and ASA, and has better raw results in stress tests like impact resistance and tensile strength. When you combine a strong polymer with tiny carbon fibers, you achieve four things. First, these fibers reduce shrinking typical of high temp materials, eliminating warping and delaminations. This means you will have an easier printing experience even with open style printers and less tuning when designing and slicing parts, putting less for holes and big parts being dimensional inaccurate if they have to press fit. Second, carbon particles increase stiffness of the printed part, meaning it will bend less when stressed. Third, carbon particles enable the printed part to resist higher temperatures, meaning you can put part in stressful environments. Think about engine bays in summer times or as fan ducts in enclosed 3D printer near the heat block. Ever saw ABS ducts melt? Making those ducts in PCCF eliminates the issue. Fourth and most amusing one is the texture. The 3D printing parts look amazing and the different feel to the touch makes it stand out from regular non bladed filaments. All the projects I made with this material have received incredibly positive feedback from customers and as many marketers say, we consume with our eyes first. These major improvements come at a cost. Life can't be always perfect, right? In my personal projects, I ended up with some parts that really like to snap like old wood. Wondering why I did some research, find out that carbon fibers decrease impact resistance of printed parts, a flaw related to the dimensions of the fibers and how the item is designed and sliced. I'll leave one of these studies below as reference. Even if the team at Prusa took care of the fiber part with very tiny particles, your work is to ensure your part is designed and printed properly. Sometimes you can't have it all and will be better off changing geometry or slicing it in another plane. Or if you can't find a good compromise between final use, geometry and slicing, fall back to regular non bladed filament that allows some give instead of breaking. But that's not all. Let's talk for a moment about the abrasion this type of filament generates. It is well known that a harder nozzle is required to reliably print these filaments without the nozzle hole deforming. But generally, all the parts touching the filament will have some degree of wear. In these cases, it depends a lot on the setup and the printing speeds. Just remember that slower feed rates will generate less friction and having hardened steel components will be better than copper or brass ones. My favorite setup for avoiding nozzle changing and having a worry-free experience is to combine slice engineering braided nozzles with a double gear extruder like Bontex or Arbiter. All these components come at a premium cost, but I prefer to do the job once rather than constantly figuring out what to change or do better. I'm not sponsored from slice engineering or Bontex, I just find their products to be constantly reliable over time. Why, despite these drawbacks, this particular filament became my go-to for personal projects and customer projects? When dealing with knowledgeable clients, engineers, and people not new to the 3D printing world, having a carbon fiber filament in my arsenal is one of my secret weapons for acquiring new projects, especially when others are proposing ABS or PG. Is this the ultimate filament? Well, as I always say, it depends on the final use. It is an excellent material for final products, these real prototypes and pre-production parts, or just to have some fancy parts for your personal projects. If your part needs to bend or have a little give, you will better off with a non-carbon fiber filament. 
Some prefer nylon carbon fiber, probably because it's more available on more platforms, but I prefer this PCCF for the price and the printing experience. Wrapping it up, this is an amazing prosumer filament, tougher than most other materials in the similar price range. If you want to grab a roll, this filament is hard to grasp. It seems they're always limited stock, probably because some of us stock up when they can. This is all for today. Go out there and make some awesome stuff. Richard, out.